What's up, people? We are back with more WASD Hourglass of Lepidop Terra. So, in the previous video, we actually found out quite a lot of information, but there still remains a lot of mystery despite that. Like, we found out that sort of the leader of the masked people is Hisui, which has some sort of connection with uh, Lin in her past, where I think Hisui actually forced. Um, Lin and her brother to sort of split up and to become like a soldier for them back when their group were really really strong and then they sort of faded out of existence but apparently they still existed throughout that time even though they were severely weaker as a group and now they're sort of making a comeback it seems this really evil group of I don't know child kidnappers and child abductors and I don't know what the hell else to call it because yeah it's kind of inappropriate but we found Mirna well linded, but Mirna was acting really really strange, like a lifeless doll, she had these soulless eyes that just actually really freaked me out sincerely. So yeah, both Mirna and Lin were actually captured by Hisui and she 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 found out her new power because of the 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 green butterfly which was to I think to like sort of uh, communicate through the minds so she actually managed to contact Tadayoshi to sort of explain or give a vague explanation of where she might be and my conclusion was that it would be in the old building in the eastern district because of the car you know and for some reason I really sus uh, find Higure very suspicious so I'm still gonna stick with that prediction so we're gonna go to the old building in the eastern district <sighs> Tanayoshi, wait for me! As I am on the way to the building in the Eastern District, Alan catches up to me. Alan! Didn't I tell you to stay in the church? Ah, uh, but I can't sit and wait when Mirna's in danger. So, I don't want to leave everything to you on your own. Alan. Although he's still a boy, he's as prepared as a man. I can really understand how he feels now. If I were him, I'd do the same as he just did. Okay, but when I tell you to run, do it. Can you promise me that? Yeah, I promise. Alright, stick with me and don't ever stray from my side. Gotcha! I know I should convince him to stay away from the danger I'm heading into, but I can't. I can see in his eyes that he won't change his mind. Aw, oh, it's so sweet. Right. <sighs> We're here at last. <sighs> You're tougher than I thought, Tadayoshi. Alan managed to follow me, short of breath. He must have gained some stamina from playing with the other kids. Look, the door is open. A ruined building stands in the forest with its door open. Are Lin and Myrna being held there? The chances are good that they're here. Hey, Tadayoshi, let's get inside. It looks so suspicious. Yes, I agree. Alan, can you wait for me outside? What? Why do I have to wait? Alan seems unconvinced. There may be more than one bad guy, so I think I should do it alone. If Alan comes with me, I can't leave him behind when I have to run. And my purpose here is to rescue Lin and Myrna, not to defeat the people who took them. And if anything happens to me, you are the only one I can count on. Heh, <laughs> you convinced me. So, I'll stay here. But are you okay to go inside alone? I'll try to handle it. If I'm not back here in an hour, run to the church and call for help. Got it? Got it. Be careful, Tadayoshi. Hmm. This place feels really creepy though. The corridor is dark and full of musty smells. I've read about places with this kind of atmosphere in books and stories. But I don't see anybody here. Are we at the wrong place? I wonder if we're on the right track. 
It wouldn't be as strange if there were guards around, but I haven't seen anyone so far. It's a good thing for me, as I don't want anyone to see me here. I keep going further down the corridor. It's very suspicious. This place is perfect for keeping people in captivity. The building is complex, as I saw from the outside. There are countless stairs in the building, making me lose my way. And I can't stop here for fear of getting lost inside. I keep going down the same road. Huh? What is that? As I take the stairs down, I see more dark corridors ahead. They seem similar to the one I just walked past. But unlike the corridor upstairs, this one has cells branching off from it. And one of the cells contains several sleeping children. Mirna! One of the children has hair and skin of very noticeable shades. It's Mirna! Hey! Mirna! Are you okay? Mirna! I pat Mirna's cheeks to wake her up. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, I'm glad she's alive. I let out a sigh of relief. I find a boy standing in the corner of the cell with emptiness in his eyes. That's you, isn't it? What have they done to you? I try to talk to him, but he doesn't respond to me at all. He looks and feels like a doll. He won't respond. What should I do? Okay, there goes my theory. Unless Higure showing up at the church was just an act. It could be that as well, right? Because supposedly fake Tadayoshi, who has to be on their side of the mask people and Hisui, is the one who brought Yui at the church. So it could be a really elaborate plan to steal one of our children, mainly probably Mirna as the target. It could be that, but that would be really, really far-fetched, but it's still possible, I guess. I don't know why I'm clinging to this to this idea so much of Higure being the bad person, or at least connected to it, you know? I'm sure that Lin is nearby, because I found Mirna here. So I think it's best to find Lin first, as I think that. Hey, can you hear me? Is that you, Lin? Where are you? Lin's voice echoes in my head. Just like last time. Focus on hearing my voice. Okay. There's no time to think about other things. I have to focus on hearing Lin and thinking about her. Oh yeah, blue butterfly in action. Even though my eyes are closed, I see a blue butterfly flying in front of me. My senses sharpen as I stare at it. Then I get an image of a scene. The fog clears up slowly and the figure of a woman is becoming clear to me. It's Lin! Oh, you're asleep now and someone is standing near her? Seems like you're still as bald as you used to be. Wh who is that? Is that the kidnapper who took Lin and the others? I can't see her face, but it sounds like a woman. Uh, oh, the boss herself has come to see me? Good morning, huh? Thanks for interrupting my nice sleep. Your presence alone is just so disgusting. It woke me up. Do they know each other? And it seems they're not exactly friends. So, the leader comes to see me here because you're going to take me. Is that right? Hisui? Hisui? Is that the name of that woman? Lin and the woman called Hisui keep on talking. You're still keen enough. <laughs> I had to come out and see you here. Because all my men are out capturing more people. Hmm? Hisui mentioned that her men are out capturing. Is she behind the kidnappings? Working as part of an organization? 
it's not just Japan. Other countries, like, say, Germany, have started taking action. Action against your organization, Hamlin. You guys are on kidnapping spree, so it's no wonder they're keeping their eyes on you. Hamlin? What are they? Why do they ki kidnap children? How do you know that Germany's taking action? Is that because of your instincts as a stray dog? If these images in my head are actually happening, Lynn must have read her mind. I'm sure they won't catch us soon, but I'll have to take extra precautions. You know we are prudent. They mentioned Germany, and from that, I think Lise must be involved in this. I assume she took the initiative in order to protect Nina, but considering the situation, the German government doesn't seem too eager to get involved. Ugh! Hisui suddenly kicks Lin in the stomach. Hey, stop that! Well, I'm sure they won't hear me, but it's painful to watch. Didn't I tell you that we are taking extra precautions? We're not letting our guard down around you, even if we do have you tied and blindfolded. Hmm, <laughs> not bad for a wimpy flute player. I have to admire your toughness. I didn't expect you to stay conscious after a kick in the stomach. You've become tougher than before, haven't you? And that's right. It's nothing but the fruit of the Pied Piper, and it only works on children who haven't established their ego. So I have to toughen up my body, as it comes in handy at times like this. Bam! Thud! Thud! Oh! Oh! Hisui kicks Lin a few more times. Please, stop kicking her. I don't want to see her suffer anymore. Hisui keeps on hitting Lin. Oh, oh, she's finally down. Now I have to go hunt down the rat. It came right into the trap of its own will. I have to give it a warm welcome. Oh, don't tell me it's talking about me, or she is. As the image breaks up, I open my eyes. If that really happened here, Liv must be somewhere inside, and she's beaten up badly. And the rat she mentioned must be... Did she mean Alan? They are kidnapping many children, and I shouldn't have let Alan alone, considering that her man are talking or taking action, I think they are preparing to leave Japan and go to other countries to hide from Germany's eyes. The children will be taken away from Japan if I don't save them. I must hurry back to Alan and tell him to run. I hope he's okay. I traced the way back while hoping for Alan's safety, but... Hey, Alan! I turn around to see Alan. I told you, Higuri, why is she here? And he's not alone. I see a familiar woman next to him. Tanayoshi, sorry for coming after you. She told me that you is missing again, so I agreed to help her find him. I mean, it could just be possible that that y you is missing again but what the hell like woman keep an eye on your child seriously how can your child go missing twice you know after he's gone missing the first time i would just keep him on a leash next to me or something like honestly woman higure oh i remember now she's higure you's mother i'm sorry he told me to wait outside for you, but I couldn't just stand here. I'm strangely familiar with that voice. I heard her voice after the day Yui went missing, and very recently at that. <gasps> oh, no way! Hisui is a woman. Higure is a woman. He said the voices sort of sounded familiar. Oh my god, is Higure Hisui? But I have no proof about it just yet. Okay, let's try something to confirm it. Don't worry, Higure-san. 
I found Yui over there. Mirna is there too. Yay! But I still can't find Lin. I'd love to help you find her. With the three of us, it shouldn't be too hard. Higure, Alan and I go into the depths of the ruined building. I leave the sleeping children in the cells. They'll probably stay safe until at least we've rescued Lin. Otherwise, there's no reason for them to have been put to sleep. And... It's dark. I can't see where I'm walking. Be careful where you walk, you two. Yes, thanks. She speaks calmly. The more I hear her voice, the more I suspect her. Oh, she is his Sui. Look at her eyes. It suddenly sort of changed. By the way, why are you here, Higure-san? I was looking for you, but I ended up wandering in here. You came to the church last time you lost him. It's my fault. I'm sorry. It's just too suspicious that she's always at the right place where her supposedly missing child is, is or is going to be. Like, this is way too suspicious. But for whatever reason, you just happen to know where Yui is this time. Yui is my son, so something led me to him, I think. I hope you can help us find Lin with the exact same sense that led you to Yui. I have no idea where she's being held captive. Lin's being held, held captive? Is she? Oh, she let something slip. Igure bends her eyebrows slightly. But I keep on talking, because there's something I want to confirm. I... I just thought that she might be being held somewhere. I never said she was being held captive. But we saw children in cells here. What's wrong, Tadayoshi? You're acting strange. As I stop walking, Anna looks at me suspiciously. We didn't find Lin there. Where is she? I... I told you we'd find her together. I've got no time to play along with your farce. Tell us, tell us where Lin is, Hisui! Oh, get him! I see surprise register on Higure's, or rather, Hisui's face for a moment. Then she speaks to me, grinning. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Tadayoshi-san? I'm Higure. Are you mistaking me for someone else? I gently move Alan behind me. Hamlin, your organization! I've been kidnapping people in Hiroshima and Okayama, is that correct? And you used the fruit of the Pied Piper to control those children's mind, to remove their will to resist you. I keep on talking. What I say is based on what I saw, but I add my own speculations. The woman is listening to my words, her expression unchanging. I hope to see her getting upset by now, but it doesn't seem to work. Oh, your imagination is so good. You should consider becoming a writer. Yeah, this story is good enough for a mystery novel. People would want to read a true crime story like this. Oh, <laughs> oh this is too good. So, what are you doing here? I am looking for you. Why are you asking me that? It's strange for a woman to go out looking for her son alone in the slums. You didn't mention this last time, but where's your husband? He died in the war. I take care of my son alone. Sorry to hear that. When and where did your husband die? She doesn't answer me. Instead, after a second, she lowers her eyes sadly. Dang, she's a really good actor actress. I'm sorry. I don't really want to be reminded of him. Ah, it's because she can't think of a good story on the spot. Okay. Another question. How old is Yui? When was he born? Oh, now you're asking me such simple questions. This is just a stalling tactic, tactic to think of a matching age and date. He's 10 years old. Is that a good enough question, uh, answer? Yes. Her answer confirms that she is not his mother. 
because she couldn't answer such a simple question correctly. What's wrong? Didn't you hear my answer? Clearly I didn't hear your answer. Hey, Alan, do you remember how old Yui is? Huh? He is as young as Julia, so he should be 8 years old if I'm correct. She begins to panic. Oh, we got you, woman. We got you. Although this is actually a really bad thing because Hisui is dangerous, right? She calms herself down in a moment. But I didn't miss that. Uh, I'm sorry. I was mixed up about his birth. Don't talk nonsense. Even if a mother can't recall her son's birthday, she wouldn't ever forget his age. Oh yeah, remember mothers or parents? Who call their age like uh, or parents or you know when when they have kids and I don't know for some reason I find it quite annoying when people call their call their kids like after it's been you know 12 months is one year right but after they've been like 18 months or something a year and a half two years they still call their kid like oh my child is 20 months just freaking say one year nearly two years like come on there's no point in even mentioning months after it's already been more than a year. And I always see and hear a lot of parents do that. Therefore, parents really do not forget the age about of their um, child. Oh, and I forgot to ask. What is your birthday? Unless you're mixed up about it, that is. Hmm. Come on, Hisui. What kind of mother could forget the date of her son's birth? I didn't ask you his birthday. I'm just calling her bluff, but I think it should work on her now. Well, can you remember or not? I ask her again in a taunting tone. Let's see her response. <laughs> I don't know his age, and I don't even care. Higure burst out laughing loudly. Now I've got your real identity, huh? Hmm. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you know who I really am. You figured it out, and I left the children in their cells to get them uh, to get me away from them, right? What a smart boy! Oh, shudder! Hisui's murderous mood sends a chill up my spine. Her attitude pretty much tells me that Lin's keeping an eye on her right now. I shouldn't really fight her, but what should I do? I have no way to run from her. Even if I could, I don't want to leave Lin, Myrna, and Alan here. When I concentrate, the world suddenly loses its color. In a place with no sound, I see a vision of Hisui firing a gun at me. Oh! As Hisui starts to move, I hear a gunshot. Ow! Daddy Yoshi! Alan lets out a grievous cry. I'm okay, Alan. You need to go hide. The bullet doesn't hit me. Oh, <laughs> As the vision was ending, I rolled away reflexively and scraped my knee. Oh, well, I tried to ambush you, but you dodged that. It doesn't seem that you could read the bullet's course, though. So, Isui shows a sinister smile. What do you mean? I know she's trying to make me desperate, but I can't show her my imp uh, impatience or weakness. Lin taught me not to show them. My master told me to capture a boy called Tara Yoshi Kurokawa. So Hisui has a master as well. Does that mean that the mysterious man is the master of Hisui? Seeing as you're, you're clever, and possess the power to see the near future. You must be Tarayoshi Kurokawa, I assume? I didn't expect her to know my full name. I was introduced to her as Tarayoshi without Kurokawa when I met her as Higure. I'm not clear about the power, but I am Tarayoshi Kurokawa, as you guessed. There are other things on my mind, but I have to deal with the situation. I'm still in grave danger. At least she isn't going to kill me, but her master told her to capture me alive. My taunt just made her go serious, so this just got a lot harder. I 
don't really like this order actually. Things would be a lot easier if I could just kill you here. What? I barely dodged it, but she shot at me without hesitation. What? She's disobeying the orders of her master? And not a moment later, she's disappeared from my sight. Did she... run? She's strong enough to crush me with her bare fist. And she even has a gun. She has got the upper hand. So why does she have to run? Hey, is she the one who took Myrna? Should we capture her on our own? We should. I wish I could just run with Lin and the other kids, but if Hisui calls for reinforcements, that'll be difficult. I don't want Hisui to reach Lin before I do, so I must not let her get away from me. Let's go. Come with me, Alan. Oh my god. I gotta end the video here. Holy freaking crap. I don't even... So we were right about Higure. I was freaking right about that. I don't know why. I mean, it was sort of... I just felt like I really was grasping at straws when I heard, uh, when I was basically just um, being suspicious of Higure. But it just felt weird to me that a character like that was suddenly... Um, because I think I mentioned in one of the very, very earlier videos that... Every single character that we saw in the intro, like the anime intro, you know, where like the, the awesome intro with the epic music, that every character that was in there was already introduced in the story. And then suddenly this woman comes out of nowhere, Higure, and I don't know. The thing was also that she showed up in a car and then the, Lin heard a car. Like some of these things just really seemed to match up very well. Which just made me even more suspicious of her. I think my initial suspicion of her was kind of weird and vague. But after that, things seemed to line up. So I'm actually happy that I got that right. But Isui isn't the mastermind behind all of this. That's gotta be the mysterious man. But one of the things that I find weird is that the mysterious man sort of has... I'm not sure if it has complete lead control of the, over me, the Cerula, or Veritas Lin, but he has some partial control, right? But why does he let Hisui want to capture us? But his, uh, or at least Hisui's master definitely needs me and Lin alive, cause we are we're a pawn for some greater plan of, I don't know exactly. It has to probably do with why they're actually you know ki capturing kids and trying to well, but what is the point of the of the flute though is it just that they will obey her and therefore become sort of a pawn or a soldier for their army are they creating a kid army or something children army i don't know it's still really really mysterious at this point but at least we know who the who sort of the the leader of the mass people and then that's sort of what their, or at least partially their agenda is. But yeah, we're gonna end this video here. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.